So guys, VJ here. Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna play some more Ace Attorney. Now, last episode, someone stabbed Miss uh, Miss May. Oh, oh, I meant staying with Miss May. Sorry, we, we don't know who it was yet. We haven't found that out. So let's go. Do you this back, back Fox? September seven. 3.11 p.m. Tension center, visitor's room. Well, hello. Are you interested in anyone visiting me in such a dang place as this? It's really quite moving. <laughs> Not, you stinging boy, I hope you die. Dang, that, that, that came to... That, that took, took a good turn too quickly. Are you catching a laugh? Yeah, stop at the floor and miss me. No, really, there's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want, I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough, Christine, you <laughs> spiky head? Um, was that supposed to be an insult? <laughs> Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? Don't act so innocent. For starters, how did you get the? How do you get? How do you get so totally whacked? Is it? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to move. Oh no, no, sorry, talk. Sorry, talk. Talk to her uh, about. I just want to see what she's gonna say about her attitude. Let's go attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh yeah, it does it. Oh, Dang! Okay, hang on. I shut this down so you guys can hear me and the fox. Okay. Um, the bottom? <laughs> I can't tell, but does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? I'm gonna do, uh, that man. I got that man who stayed in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm, maybe I, if I have something to get to get a talk. The, the wire tape, that, 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 that should make a talk. Why, why did the place a wire tape on Mia's phone? I mean, so, it sounds so... Oh, you're a criminal. Sorry guys, I have no idea what my dog's barking at. So if you're barking, that's my, that's just my dog's in the background. Um, taking people's phone is a crime, Miss May. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was just gonna, I was just gonna get my dogs to shut up. Okay, they seem to be quiet down now. Uh, Black Fox, you need to read it. Alright, I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, mm hmm? Creep. Hey! Someone is impossible to talk to. Um, I think I'm going to go back and go to move, move to the Grossberg Lawyer Laws offices. September seven, Grossberg Lawyers offices. Wait, 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 wait! Where the hell is the painting? Where's it gone? Huh? Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. <laughs> Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. I'm gonna examine. And see where the painting's going. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on the uh, on the wall? A uh, wall? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of Um Let me try let me try and remember. I'm pretty sure it's a fisherman. Wasn't it? It was very memorable painting anyhow. What is that? What's this? Old photos? Oh, there are two lying here. Something's been written on the pen pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Okay. Let's take a look at these. I'll check out the first one first. Look at Exhibit A first. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. 
I'm sure no one will miss one little photo. It might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. <clears throat> cool. The, the photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch with the one I took. I don't know which one should I do. I think I'll swap them actually. I think I'll swap them. That's what I said. That's what I just said. Okay. What's next? What's next? What's there? Anything else new here? I don't think so. I think, so I think I shall move to the Gatewater Hotel. See if I can find anything new there. Seven seven Gateway Water Hotel, room three hundred three. Is that me? Is that me as well? Yeah. Ah, oh, welcome, sir. But let me let me talk to myself. Wouldn't make much sense. Quite the performance today, if I did so say, say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, 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 not at all, sir. Your effort, to, your effort today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the a wiretap. We can we can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I too will become famous. The boy who brought the murder case, murder uh, ice coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? <laughs> so, you're our honoured guest. Please let me know if you, there's anything I can bring you. I think I'm just gonna talk to him. I'm gonna talk to him about Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her, sir? Not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think you, the most vicious person here is this guy. I'm gonna ask you about the man with May. I want to ask you about the man that was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon my, the expression. I knew from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. Is that how you pronounce it? We both carry the scent of danger. There we are total agreement, Mr. Psychopath. <laughs> Mr. Psychopath, boy. If I, had a, if I had a photo of the man, I was, sure, I was quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. Oh, I think I know what I think it is. I think it's the one that I took. I think I know. I think that's it, but I'll, I'll do that later. I'm talking about the hotel. Can you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. As the, as the status subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, the hotel is known as the Gate as Gatewater. I I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle. Gateway Hotel Murder Man Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea, said. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back and. Since you mentioned the photo, I'm going to show him the picture of the guy that I saw in the other office. Where is it? Here it is! Present! Take a look at this photo. That's him! Detective? Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I, I, know, I knew that. I know that. No, you didn't. I just wanted to say to Detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an uh, advocate? Is it was it? Advocate, advocate, advocate. Swearing that that's him. In advocate, I don't know how to say that. Advocate. Yeah, this guy was too excited about this. I'm gonna um have him write write it. Well, sure, why not? Yes. I've always wanted to write an av avid. I want to say avident because that's how I, that's how I think it says. That's how I was the only thing I can pronounce. Sir, 
From henceforth, I will be known as the bad boy who swore the aff affidavit. Ah, say it. And there's that fox again. Then I need you to say it from now on. Yeah. Just hurry up and write it. Oh, okay, cool. Not even Miss Megan played dumb it to this. I think I'm gonna move now back to to the, the detention center. You were dang crazy here to stay going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, right, so it's my fault now? Pretty much. You have to spike your hair, you have to have a spike your heart. That does it. In this case, I'm done shaving. I, I, in this case, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> I'm gonna present. I'm actually gonna present the photo of the guy that she was with. So let's do that. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times. I'm not telling you. Where did you? Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? This is him. This is the man who's staying in your hotel room that night. That night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Yes, that was sarcasm, guys. Do you have any proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. I'm going to show her the bell boys. Advocate. That's better. Could you have a look at this? What's that? <laughs> the bell boys. Advocate. It tells me, it tells us everything he saw. Such a, that's just a man that you checked in with. Who's most definitely the guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. I'm going to, um, let's see, what should, what should I do? I'm actually going to push her hard. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed the, the, that's an act. If you, don't, if, you don't, if you don't talk, I'm taking this to, info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness of, to the murder of his little friend, was missing. I'm sure the press would have f f would have, would have field day with this reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. <laughs> you, that's, that's what I thought. You win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. <laughs> it's good to be alive. Why are you having your fist in the air? <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. Hey man? Hey man, he's our boss. Oh sure. Red White, the president of the info gathering. Like fine, I'm pretty cool. Is that actually actually him, Black Fox? Huh? Is that actually him, Black Fox? Is that is that, is that actually the boss? Yes. Okay. Red White, information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So it's like the man that was with the uh, with the with the, with, her, with you the night of the murder. I'm I'm scared to talk. <laughs> I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where the blue corp is located? Mr. Red and White at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If everybody couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bell boys advocate discarded. Oh cool. And then we're going to move to the blue corp, because that's where Mr. White is. Right after I go to the Grossbook Law Offices. Because I forgot something here. Alright. This is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? <laughs> Ahem. Speak of the devil. <laughs> ah, the old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha, you again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well. 
You're quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me. The trial. The, the, sorry. The trial. The trial. He was there. Remind me of myself when I was you. I guess something got passed. The got passed down through Mia, maybe. It brings back memories. It does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? I apologize. I. It was a little bit too much for me, oh boy. See you today, I. Well, I. I appreciate the reminiscing, but I much rather get. You gave me some information. So I'm gonna, going to. Let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to present the photo of Mr. White to Mr. Grossberg himself. So let's go do that. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? Give it back at once. I'm sorry I've taken it without your knowledge, but I have to know, who is this man? He was most likely in the April, April May's room at the, of the, the murder. What? What's that you say? Are you quite sure, my boy? What has him what has so, so, so flustered, I wonder? I, I think you're fine, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. He's fallen silent as a stone. A rather, a rather large stone. <laughs> I guess I should return the photo. Cool. Hey, Mr. Now, I was wondering where the painting is gone, so I'm going to talk to him about said painting. Mr. Grossberg. Ah, my apologies. I need to think about things alone. He barely glanced in my direction. Okay, that's all I'm going to talk to him about. I, I think I'm going to move out now. Since I, since I can't get anything out of him, anything more out of him, I'm gonna go to Blue Cork, the new location. September 7th, Blue Cork, Inc. CEO's office. What is the surreal decor? Wait, hold on a second! That painting there looks exactly like the one that was in Mr. Grossberg's office, so I'm gonna say he took the painting. That, that looks exactly like it. Welcome, please finish here with your title of personage. What the? Your name, what's your name? I was just kindly asking the title that you go by. That is definitely the painting from Mr. Grossworth's office, office, just saying guys. Uh, right, Phoenix Wright, incorrably, what does that mean? What does that mean? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. So diverse. Perhaps I've intimidated you with my Good teeth, vocabulary. Um, what what does what does quarter really mean? It's a movie made up. Oh, really? Okay. Here's some words. Ah, uh, what 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 is this, uh, this guy's problem? I'm uh, really right. See, you're a blue cop, you know, corporate expansion office, official. Oh, that's how that's what it stands for. Okay. The means of stealing is bringing me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the worldly challenge. <sighs> What a fruitcake. <laughs> hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney, fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation of why you would come to me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty boy have such a man such as myself? Hey, I heard, I heard there's an air quality son of a bitch. That's actually, that's actually a reference. Yikes, this guy's arrogance I mean, is off the scale. <laughs> I think I'm going to talk to him about Miss May, of course. Miss May is an employee at the Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She's my secretary. What a shocker would be to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Telling it is not in her job description. She does get information as a part of her duties, but I assure you, we do not condone, you know, illegal methods. It is indefinable to do this. 
Sounds like he's trying to turn Mr. May into scrap goat. A scapegoat. A sca scapegoat, sorry. I'm talking about, in the, about, about the night of the murder. On oh, the murder, you in Miss May's hotel room. So you can say, I still don't pay attention to my name details, such as time and place. The motto is, don't worry, be happy. Hang yeah. on, hang on, that, that's a line from a song. Still, Mr. White. The hotel boy has stated on the record that, you, that, that, he, that, he, that, he, that he does remember you very clearly. Anyway, sir, so don't worry, can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. You want to bet? Hmm, here's a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen. He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts, to me they are mere toys, paintings to my amusement. I'm not talking about Blue Corp now. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. You buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I built this business into a great office to see now. And, ah, in case you're wondering, Blue Corp was named after the colour, Blue. Oh, of course it was. I am very, very proud of Blue Corp, as far as the CEO named it so. And you why know was? Because I like the colour blue, of course. Wow. Fantastic, is it not? I'm talking about the painting, because that's the one from Mr. Ghostberg's office. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? The big painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous, I've seen it before, or where where did you get it? I'm gonna say Eh, where where did you where did you get it? Say, where did you get that where did you, did you get that painting? Hmm, no idea, I forgot. Sure you have! I've seen that painting before yesterday before yesterday in fact. Where do I find that painting here today? It's the wrong, as it, was it? Uh, right. If you should not fully grasp your position here, ask again, who are you? Um, huh, a lawyer? No, my friend, no, my fair friend, a mere lawyer. <sighs> Worth nothing, zilch, zippo, nada. That's like that sorry excuse for the attorney, Brody Burger. You mean, Grossberg, right? <sighs> oh, oh. Uh, he, he punched me! Oh, Mr. Lawyer, what are you doing now, eh? Charging with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. He freaking punched me! What? He and my execution, the police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say? But I wonder, is this kind of control really possible? I guess if you understand, it is a world behind your comprehension. You came here from the Grosbergs, I presume? Mr. Grosbergs, yes. And you guys asked him, why is this painting of his hands here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live purely for personal profit. You freaking took it. Go now, Seattle. There is nothing more to discuss. I'm gonna go now, like he said, and I'm gonna move back to... I think Mr. Grossberg's law offices. Oh, I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! <coughs> Show me your host effects. <laughs> oh, you. What's wrong? Oh, no, that's, that's me. What's wrong? He looks so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not seen all yet. I was just thinking about the whole mess. Something is really bothering him. That's much is, that much is clear. I'm not going to talk to him about... I'm not sure. I think Mr. White. So I paid Blue, Blue Corp a visit. 
Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I, I have to admit, something's been, been bothering me. Oh, what is that? What is it? Well, that was my boy. You see, it's just... I'm gonna say that... I'm gonna say probably... Uh, let me think. I'm gonna say that big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day. Where, where, what was there not? The only one that said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office in Blue Call, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It's a large painting. Oh, sorry guys. Mr. Grosso, I knew you were you, you and Mr. White were connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know that it is. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you that that you. Oh, hang on. Mr. White has something you doesn't he? Blackmail. I think the painting is fairly. God, is it gallery? Proof. Very well, it's only the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally go see easy again. After all, you and I was on the study. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red Wright is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Many calls are coming that he sells and finds he was witnesses, I'm afraid. They've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DLC, DLC incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of the, these photographs. As you suspected, I could not understand the offense of mine because of this. Why would have destroyed me if I did? So that's the connection. It's hard to tell you this, my boy. But this Alistair Red White will be not impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. He gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound. They have to harm themselves and therefore to him. So it looks like that. He sees nothing more than a wait of many years. I'm gonna. Let's see, well, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to ask you about the, the DL6 incident. What is the DL6 incident, Mr. Nunn? DL6 is nothing more than a sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A student medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Misty Faye? Faye? Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She made this in the of the request of the deep press of the, the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what, this is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did not prove her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case her remains at stock to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. I'm gonna ask him about the reason for blackmail. But but why were there blackmail uh, over the over this, Miss Mr. Glasberg? The Neo Six incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. One person found out. I I told him. He told what? He opened the riches. It's embarrassing to me now. Because I told the police were locked far and wide. He seriously gave the secret away for money. I would never do that. He secretly again looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, what I heard about it and he came to me. At this time the officer the officer was blackmailed. I see. Right controls the law of the country as he sees fit. 
yet he was still challenging a uh, close look in Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed you over for years. She had recorded something that she found. I'm going to move now to Fang Co's law offices. It's funny, looking at the room, it seems so normal. How to imagine a murder took place here? Mr. Grossberg was uh, said that there would be clues. Maybe I should look. Have another, maybe I should have another look. So I'm gonna examine. Let's see. Um. Oh, what should I look at? Maybe this plant. Maybe say a part of a plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Okay, that didn't really give much information. All the cases of the chiefs ever worked are filed here. They're all of aspect oil. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? I'm gonna say file J to S. Let's go. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. They are just skimming through this. I think I'll s I think I I'll skim it. <sighs> well, no harm to be through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here. At the end of S. Suicide. Ew. There's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians and policemen. There's writing on most of the most of these in pencil. What? That's Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia's, th Mia's thought that he was involved in these suicides. What drove them all to... I can't, I, I can use this ne as newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find something, let's find the most disturbing one. Awesome. I'm gonna move back to the Blue Corp now. Well, I do persistent. Also, guys, I'm editing the part out where I'm thinking of what it, where I'm thinking of what to do. Sorry, there's been something I have to ask you, Mr. Lawyer. I really hang to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not been penetrating the video. Thick skull, stop bothering me. When you try patience further. I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Let's see, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to present. The newspaper clippings I'm going to present. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was, he was, he was meddling. meddling secret government funds. Then one day, word got out, leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? So, she, she had file, she had file filled with articles like this. Every one was there with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know that you did you did this you did you did this to uh, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and and, and what? Harassing. Hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that we investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. Ugh. What do you should be doing right now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Smart. Mia. Beep. Security officer says, hello. Mr. Wrong, will we leave now? 
Yes, sir. I'll send someone right, right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. I'm gonna say you're wrong. So, because. Just maybe because. Maybe because I don't like him. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What's that? Well, what should I do? We're doing now that he's going after you. What are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She kept tabs. She's been keeping tabs. For the reason she had been April May tapping her phone. The Mia was murdered, and the document was about to, her mission mysterious disappeared. So the cover would be. You know, Shark will work this one out, Mr. Mr. White. You did it! Beep! To his office. You won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White? That you? You are doing you are doing the call at the time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to, to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The EFA case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I'd like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to the court. Where to? Is, is, is that another, another word he made up? Yes. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over right, he right away. The man sitting in front of me, he looks dazed, but could, but could be violent. Bull crap! What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, there isn't another one of, the, of those. Chief Prosecutor. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I tell you to send the police, now! Beep! You know that term, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. This case is good as settled. No longer have any worth to defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. The view of the lawyers so similar to the incident that they may and I make even you a competent competent. I I feel faint. Did I just faint? To the commentary reporting, sir. Ah, but Harry but really? Right, actually it's Phoenix right. I a friend of uh, uh as a friend of name, friend's name is Larry. Oh right, sorry, pal. Butts was 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 was, a, was that murder, 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 right? Take your gum, take your gum shoe. I present you the man who killed Miss Maya Fay. What? Take this despicable human and into custody. Fair, Mr. Wrong. He's clearly dumb. He doesn't know my my name is Mr. Right. September 8, uh, September 8, 3.37 p.m. Tennis Center, Visitor's Room. Currently, it's only been days since the, my, the first trial. Trial begins tomorrow. White's going to sit and chat for me. And Russian will be on it, of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney that's signed to be by, by, me, by me by, the state, by the, the state yesterday. I refuse, I have an idea. Is that me as well? Right. Mr. What? Mr. 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 Right. Oh, Maya. Great, they'll leave you out of detention. Just now? Yes? It's all thanks to you. Yeah, now I'm afraid we've switched places. <laughs> what? You mean you? I explained what happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does this man need to destroy his satisfied? My mother? My sister? And now you? This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me if there's anything I can do. Um, well... 
I think, um... I think they're defend me in court. Alright, there, there, there can be a defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright. Huh? Leave it to me. I'll be me. Uh, uh, I am Mia's sister after all. Holy shit runs now blood. Well, wasn't the ghost powers that ran in, 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 in your blood? I better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of the law of, of law for, Rick, for rookies. Wait, 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 wait! What, what, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know that you're on my side. And now, and now there really isn't anything that you can do for me anyway. But, but I can just sit there and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change yet, but with the crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings is no, uh, are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days were put into initial court trials. Almost all, all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With a true culprit appearing to be the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. Okay, guys. I guess that wraps up for another video. Leave a comment below, let me know what game you want to play next. Please subscribe, it's somewhere around me. Remember to just give leave a thumbs up. Like, more so much. Thank you for watching, I'll see you again. I'm recording one more. Until then, peace.